This is the electric blue color that I've got right now. It will also come in charcoal black, shimmery white, and a copper gold color. Now, not every market is going to get every color, but it is nice to see this bright, vibrant shade. There's a bit of a different design element on the back. It kind of looks like small little depressions or dimples in the coating, but it pretty much looks the same as the Galaxy S4 with these steep sort of silvery sides and just about the same shape. Now, there is a fingerprint scanner in here. It is integrated into this oblong home button here. There is also a heart rate monitor on the back that is integrated into this flash module. PayPal has an agreement with Samsung so that in addition to taking your heart rate, you can also use this as a way to make secure mobile payments. Samsung does bump up the camera to 16 megapixels on the back. There's front-facing camera as well. Inside, you've got a 2.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor. That's quad-core, so it's going to be pretty speedy. The phone will also come in 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte capacities depending on the market. We don't have pricing, availability, or markets yet, but you can guess that it is going to be worldwide and it will probably cost about the same as last year's model. So those looking for a really big splash with the Samsung Galaxy S5, you're not really going to get it apart from the fingerprint scanner in the front and the heart rate monitor in the back.